Hello everybody. How is everybody doing on this lovely June 13th? Yes. Uh, it's continuing our June theme. June is perennial gardening month. Yes. One of my favorite things is perennials. So for those of you who don't garden, a perennial is the plant that comes back every year. Like a hydrangea, uh, my lantana comes back every year. You could consider some of your bulbs and tubers perennials because they come back like irises, um, daffodils, those kind of things. So those are perennials. If you like to garden but you don't want all the work that goes involved in gardening, perennials are the way to go because you don't have to plant them every year. Annuals, all that beautiful color, petunias and pansies, begonias, those are annuals. You have to plant them every year. Sometimes the begonias come back. Sometimes they don't. So some of them are called biannuals. You just never know. But, um, well, they'll tell you on the plant. It's not that you never know. You never know if they're actually going to come back or not. That part. My favorite way to plant my yard is to go to death row at the big box retailers. I'm talking Home Depot and Lowe's, yes. And if you go to the very back, before you get to the stacks of rock and fencing and all that, you go to the very back of all of the plants, You'll usually find their discount spot. I call it death row because they think everything back there is going to die. You can buy it for 50 cents when it was normally $3. I buy up their perennials, sometimes the annuals, because you can get those to come back and look lively too. As a matter of fact, everything on my front porch came off of death row and they're thriving right now. My marigolds that are out in my vegetable garden came off of death row and they're very happy right now. So that's a good way to get gardening if you want to garden but don't want to spend a lot of money. So, also it is National Albinism Awareness Day. We always call those people that have no pigment in their skin albinos. Um, I don't know if that's politically correct anymore or not. The uh, United Nations has set aside this day to be aware of those people because sometimes they have people who are prejudiced against them, which is unfair, but they are just unique and most of the, most of the time very beautiful people. Um, inside and out. It is also the day the first roller coaster opened on Coney Island in 1884. How cool is that? Um, I'm going to do my bronzer real quick while we're finishing up. Um, I think it went six miles an hour. <laughs> Nowadays, we'd be going, okay, this is that little choo-choo train that goes around, you know, that only goes so fast. Um, I know it's some other day. Oh, no, it's the beginning of National Hermit Week. This was started by an artist. I think she was at NYU. And um, it's all about going within and understanding yourself. And so just becoming a hermit for the week from the 13th through the 20th, doing a lot of self-reflection, maybe journal about how that all went for you. Now, there are two different ways you can do your bronzer. You can do the figure, the number three, just on the face like so and just go back and forth with your bronzer until you're as bronze as you want to be with the figure three backwards three of course I guess to you guys I usually like to start there I don't know why I start at the top of my head because I want more of it on my cheekbone than anywhere else but that's a nice simple easy way to do bronzer and this is the featured product of the day our perfect bronzer right here dun, da, da, da. And you always want to, if you want that beach look, always hit any areas that the sun would have hit first. You know, it's going to hit top of the forehead, nose, chin, top of the cheeks. And if you want to enhance that a little bit, use our Perfect Blush number 6. It's got a cool shimmer to it, very light and pretty. And you can kind of do that. Let's do that with the other brush. Just right there like so. A little bit of the highlight. Okay, so that concludes not only the makeup tip of the day, but a little on perennial gardening. I hope you will all go out and get some plants off of death row. Somebody needs to say them because they end up in the dumpster if nobody buys them, and that's just so sad. So, I'm Deborah Felsky, Independent Beauty Guide with Limelight by Alcone. Blushing today, bronzing today, and growing plants today. And if you want to change your look or change your lifestyle, just message me and we'll talk about either setting up a one-on-one -on -one for you to try all of our wonderful products or we can discuss career opportunities. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.